Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning, continuing from yesterday's reading with a scripture reading from John chapter 5, verses 19 through 29. Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me as eternal life and does not come under judgment but is passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice, and will come out to those who have done good, to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil, to the resurrection of condemnation. That is our scripture reading for this morning. If you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. God of grace, we offer our prayers this morning for the needs of others and commit ourselves to serving them as we have been served in Jesus Christ. Especially we want to pray for those closest to us, for family, friends, and neighbors, and also for refugees and homeless men, women, and children, for the outcast and persecuted, those from whom we are possibly estranged as well. We hope for each of these people to find purpose and hope for their own lives and for the future. Please be with all your children today as we go out into your world, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.